Hello everyone, this is the Toy Major. Welcome to a review of the Big Bad Toy Store. Exclusive, gold label, DC Rebirth, Martian Manhunter, black and white accent edition. First thing you'll probably notice is like the Superman box, the authenticated, the color is red, the accent on him is red. I have no idea if the red is darker or brighter. I think it's a little darker now that I'm taking a good look at it. This one is uh, <clears throat> not a very popular figure, unfortunately. And honestly, that's a shame. That really kind of breaks my heart a little. My personal opinion, this figure is really good. Um, I notice on Big Bad Toy Store, it's not like the others. It hasn't sold out. As far as I know, this video, um, I believe there's still plenty of him in stock. As you can see, this is pretty much it for him. The box, the card, the card stand, the display base, and of course the figure itself. Let's look at the stuff. The display stand, my DC logo is not straight. You can probably tell. Maybe from a distance? Optical illusion, but I can tell mine's not straight. I'm no fool. This Martian Manhunter one, I actually got pretty excited when I saw it. I think he is a different color of the gold label one. I think that one was a target figure. Anyways, so you can pause and read the back. I honestly wonder if Todd McFarlane himself actually signs these. Probably not. Martian Manhunter. Just like the Superman one. Has a little spots in there to hold a card. And now with this beautiful box. Shiny. Just like the Superman one. Scan me. I don't know what it does. The art, like I said, if you guys are going to get rid of the box, I guess that's fine, but at least keep the slip. I mean, come on, it looks good. <clears throat> and no one's going to believe you have this without it. Martian Manhunter, you can see the shine on it. I personally love the shine on it. Lifting, or lift this, show everything included. Card base, card, display stand, and the figure himself. There's a slit here in the back for where the cape goes. Uh, what you do, I guess, just pull this out, get the figure out, put it back in. And if you're in display, go ahead and slap the sleeve back on. Otherwise, I guess you're good to get rid of it. I like hanging on to these, I like collecting these, but I'm sure not everyone wants to. Some people just want the figure, maybe. Um, <clears throat> now this figure is honestly pretty good. The cape is like the very soft rubber. It literally just flops. I don't even have to do anything, really. And I don't think you can really ruin it. You can... See there yourself. So the hands he comes with are the only hands that he's got. A fist for the left. And on the right, a hand that I think is supposed to hold something or can. Yeah, so Martian Manhunter is weak to fire. If I remember right, people say that he likes Oreos or the... Sandwich cookies. Kind of like uh, Drax and Marvel. So I guess the... For me, I think the one point is the head may not look that visually appealing. But you have to keep in mind, he is an alien. <clears throat> hence the name Martian Manhunter. So he's not normal by any means. Uh, this is a little more stronger rubber than the cape. 
This does not come off. The arms, uh, because of these, they only go so high. A literal T-pose kind of formation. Knees bend well. The feet, toes, ankles twist left and right just fine. Oh, wait, what's wrong with those toes? I was being stubborn for a moment. That concerns me uh, a smidgen. <clears throat> Just like that. You really only get the figure itself, the card, and the stand, and the uh, figure display stand. Even though the figure display stand just has the basic DC logo, I'm still not going to use it. I really prefer not to use these stands because the figures are pretty cool, pretty special, and I don't want anything happening to them. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunately kind of it for this guy and that's a real shame too because he does look good i don't have <clears throat> any figures to compare it to i don't have any of the martian man hunters i really don't um but yeah so i think the accent is highlighting what is most important about them i think i want to say um but for this one i have no idea what that could be the red is generally kind of everywhere. Black is the clothing, white is the skin, and the uh, yeah, the red highlights are kind of everywhere. Makes me think of a neon pattern. Honestly, I'm somewhat expecting this figure to actually kind of glow, even though I know that's not going to happen. Um, he's not ripped like many of the other figures are. He's got a pretty meh ab crunch you can see there. Uh, yeah, this a little more the rubber there is not as generous as this. Or maybe it's a little too generous. It flows to the side. Um, red eyes, gray skin, yeah, I've probably mentioned that already. Like I said, this is, it's a shame because in my opinion, this is a very good looking figure. And, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm adjusting the camera. Not a bad one, just one of those not really sought after, but I'm glad I got personally. If you guys want one of your own, I can... Put a link in the description below there will also be an ebay search term uh you never know these may sell out you might want one don't have it normally but you're willing to go that little extra mile just to get your hands on a collector piece so thank you guys very much <clears throat> sorry for the short review if you enjoy this content please leave pros and cons in the comment below or your honest opinions um, if you want to help, feel free to subscribe. I'm not gonna, I can't force anybody to do that, but if you enjoy, you want to see more, please do. I got plans for toy hunts, hauls, other stuff coming up very soon. You can check out my welcome to the channel video if you want to know more. So I'll see you guys later.